All right, guys, back, uh, kind of a redo of step four of the PI Polonaise, Polish PI. So I did a little work here on the delay pulse generator, which is comprised of this uh, CD4011 um, capacitors, these two resistors, and these two resistors. So I changed out these four resistors. These two um, are in charge of the actual sample pulse width and these two are in charge of the timing for the delay pulse width. So I've changed these out. These were 47k they're now 43k and these were 33k and they're now 18k so I've done that I'll show you what it looks like the on the oscilloscope I have changed the uh, pulse frequency transmit pulse frequency to 500 Hertz with adjusting this this part here and I've also changed the transmit pulse width to 100 microseconds. I pulled off this resistor here and I put a pot in. Yes, I know I should have put a resistor in series to be on the safe side. I didn't play it safe. I just put this in because I knew I would never uh, back it off to zero so obviously you want to put a, a to be safe you want to put a, a resistor in series with this uh, trimmer so that if you were to back the trimmer all the way down to zero you wouldn't uh, short this out completely um, but for my purposes now that's adjusted it's going to be glued down and that's it. One other thing that I did up on the LF357, I took out this uh, 10 picofarad capacitor. Uh, after looking at the circuit diagram and looking at the uh, the sheets for the chip, uh, I couldn't see a purpose for this thing. It, it's going from uh, pin 1 to pin 8 across this 10 picofarad and pin 8 is not supposed to be connected and so I, I, I didn't see any purpose for it. I've taken it out, doesn't seem to have uh, made a difference one way or the other. So let's take a look at some of these pulse widths and see what they look like. Okay first up on the oscilloscope you see the uh, transmit pulse width and frequency so I've got it on measure here you can see the pulse width is just about 100 microseconds and we have the frequency at uh, 500.9 Hertz that's as close as I could get it to 500 Hertz so that's the first change okay so on the screen what we have is the output of the preamp pin 6 on the LF357 and right here we have the adjusted uh, delay for the sample pulse right so that's about uh, 25 microseconds and I got that by replacing the two resistors, bringing them from 33K down to 18K. And we'll take a look at the actual sample pulse. Get my hands out of the screen so you can see that. So once again, that's the sample pulse on channel 2 and it's 
I think right around 55 microseconds and up on top on channel 1 is once again is the output of the preamp of the LF357 all right that's all I have for right now and hopefully the next part which will be somewhat newer will be up soon thanks for watching